people travel 100 miles per hour down the zip line, but it simply would not be possible without the speedy response of the Welsh Government. Now, I've got colleagues who've got tourism businesses all through the UK. They don't get anywhere near the level of support I've had from the Welsh Government. We employ over all the sites 140 people. 80% of those staff are well speaking. They all come from roughly between five and eight miles from where they work. So they are actually ambassadors to our business, but they're ambassadors to the local area as well. We are extremely proud of our staff. We are actually part of a collaboration called the Adventure Map which is all the top activity providers in North Wales. We work together, we don't perceive ourselves to be threats. We feel if we bring people to the area, the secondary spend will follow. And that secondary spend could be with other activities, which is already happening. But you've got your restaurants, your hotels, your retail outlets, everyone benefits. I feel in the next couple of years, Wales will become the adventure playground in Europe. <laughs>